Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief Headlines Edition, all the daily AI news you need in around five minutes. It is very likely that by the time you've listened to this, you have heard a bunch of coverage about what's going on in the stock market right now. If you haven't, honestly, at this point, I would suggest you turn this off, immediately go outside, enjoy your life, come back in a couple days, and we'll talk about markets again then. But assuming that that's not you and that you have been paying attention, there has been a huge dip in markets today. Many stocks, particularly big tech stocks, opened down 9, 10, 11% this morning. The NASDAQ overall at the time of recording is down 4%. And so the question that we're kicking off this headlines edition of today is whether any part of this actually has to do with AI and this question that people have been facing about a bubble or whether it is all just part of a larger macro story. TLDR, while there are some small catalysts, I think that this is a big macro story. But let's look at NVIDIA, where there is at least some reason to think that part of it is not just what's going on with the macro, but a specific announcement as well. Investopedia writes, NVIDIA stock plummets on reported delay of its new AI chip amid global sell-off. Reports started coming out that NVIDIA's Blackwell system would be delayed at least three months due to design flaws. Given NVIDIA's central place in the AI ecosystem, that will have implications for Amazon, Alphabet, Meta, and more. Once again, this report came from the information and came out at the end of last week. The source was that NVIDIA had told Microsoft, who is one of its biggest customers, as well as another cloud provider, about the delay, and one of those employees at Microsoft told the information. Design problems apparently arose unusually late in the production process, leaving NVIDIA scrambling to work with TSMC, who is its chip manufacturer, to fix the problem. The information writes if the upcoming AI chips, the B100, B200, and GP200, are delayed three months or more, it may prevent some customers from operating large clusters of the chips in their data center in the first quarter of 2025 as they had planned. This may have downstream implications for how fast software can evolve. In early trading this morning, NVIDIA shares were down almost 8% and have ranged there pretty much all day. Like I said, though, even with this specific catalyst, and maybe NVIDIA would have been off some because of it, overall this seems like it's part of a larger story. It's not that people don't think that this AI skepticism might have something to do with this, it's more just that that is very clearly part of a much bigger set of issues, including, according to Dario Perkins, for example, managing director at TS Lombard, global recession risk, with central banks perceived to be behind the curve, the unwind of the yen carry trade, and risks of a major intensification of Middle Eastern tensions. To say nothing, and I'll add this one as many analysts are, of the slightly chaotic U.S. presidential campaign. Still, looking at the MAG-7 tech stocks, many of whose gains have been driven this year by their AI strategy, those stocks saw about a 9% drop at the open that had come down significantly throughout the day. Now, even if this is macro, there is still this looming AI question. Over the weekend, for example, The Guardian published a piece called Why Have the Big Seven Tech Companies Been Hit by AI Boom Doubts? The Guardian pointed out that the shares of those companies had fallen by around 11.8% from last month's peak, and that was even before this. We've talked extensively about whether the market is in a repricing period when it comes to AI and their perception of its return on investment, and frankly, a lot of this feels to me like just a natural recalibration. Analyst Dan Coatsworth, for example, said, Expectations have arguably become too high for the so-called Magnificent Seven. Their success has made them untouchable in the eyes of investors, and when they fall short of greatness, out come the knives. Another analyst, Angelo Zeno, said, Valuations were getting to 20-year highs, and we were due for a pullback, as well as a pause to digest some of the gains we've seen over the past 18 months. There will be, I think, a lot more to analyze on the macro and stock side of the equation. For now, let's move over to the private markets, where an NVIDIA challenger, at least that's how the information is describing them, called Grok, not Elon's Grok, G-R-O-Q, has raised a $640 million Series D at a valuation of $2.8 billion. The fundraising was led by BlackRock. One of the things that Grok is notable for is its extremely fast inference. You might have seen, for example, a demo of someone on Twitter slash X showing just how fast one of these new open-source state-of-the-art models running on Grok can be. Following up on some stories that we've previously covered, you'll remember that AI ad that Google was running at the beginning of the Olympics that raised a ton of consternation. Well, that has officially been pulled. A Google spokesperson said, while the ad tested well before airing, given the feedback, we've decided to phase out the ad of our Olympics rotation. Finally today, a set of five secretaries of state have written to Elon Musk, urging him to fix his grok for spreading election misinformation. In an open letter, the secretaries from Minnesota, Pennsylvania, Washington, Michigan, and New Mexico said, As secretaries of state whose offices and 37 million constituents were recently impacted by false information provided by your platform, we are calling on you to immediately implement changes to XAI search assistant grok to ensure voters have accurate information in this critical election year. So far as I can tell, Elon has not commented on that yet, at least not on X, but I will certainly be keeping an eye out for it. 
For now, though, that is going to do it for today's AI Daily Brief Headlines Edition. Next up, the main episode.